Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Bert's here. Got round 16 coming up of our 2024 season playthrough of F1 Manager 2023. Got the new game coming out in just a few weeks. Getting super hyped for that. Been watching a bunch of stuff on YouTube myself of new gameplay. A couple of other content creators playing through some of the creative team sections. So getting super hyped for that. Um, let's go ahead and continue on our season here. Let's go ahead and check our inbox. Uh, looks like Ali Behrman doing pretty well. Last time out in Monza in the lower category. Pretty good to see Ali Behrman in real life getting that signed C to Haas. Super stoked to see that happen for 2025. Looks like the F3 season has come to an end. All right, and there's the results there. Not too shabby. Looks like decently tight between the top two, but two and three. Look at that, one point apart. Very interesting. Caroline Vincent. And it looks like we've got some parts on our car that are going to need to be addressed. Um, oh, well, it looks like we're doing okay, actually, right now. High risk options coming up, though. It does look like we're going to get a new ATR period reset, which is going to be perfect because then we can go ahead and get some new parts in development. We've got quite a few races left to go. Do we want to develop a new part for this season or just continue on with our research with the points we're going to get here soon? Let's go ahead and keep cruising though. We are going to need to buy some new parts, unfortunately. Ay, ay, ay. Um, let's see. Let's click the warehouse. We only have two chassis in stock. Quite a few front wings. Only two rear wings on the bottom of the car. Quite a few side pods. Got two extra underfloor, it looks like. And one extra suspension component. So we need to develop... Or I'm sorry, we need to manufacture some more parts, but we're also going to need to purchase each of our drivers a new engine again, which is very unfortunate. Because um, uh, we're going to need one, obviously, for Singapore. And I think Richard's got, you know, two newer components. They're both going to need a new engine. Uh, this is just... Always putting me in the bad spots with the monies. Uh, we did just get a payout, so that's excellent news. We need to improve our medium speed cornering and high speed. So it looks like everyone, obviously these parts are slightly damaged. Uh, you can see here, the minus the chassis. So it, that data is based off of the current condition of our parts, I believe. So yeah, we're not doing too hot. Not doing too hot. Uh, let's see. Let's see what Alpine's up to. Got some new side pods. And they're working on a new suspension soon. Alpha Tauri. Um, yeah, Alpha Tauri is. Let's see. Yeah, we are tied right now currently. So we need to start getting some points. It's going to be tricky though because we. Have not really brought any upgrades in a while. We've just been researching everything. Let's see how the drivers are improving. Richard's getting better at cornering and reactions. Theo's getting better at defending and reactions. Nice to see Zane doing really good in cornering, bumping up the adaptability as well. So Zane's getting Zane's moving up pretty well. He's getting close to Richard here. But he's still got some areas to improve upon. Some breaking. And overtaking, it looks like, for Zane. Zane's pretty solid. Zane is doing pretty solid so far. Yikes. Yep, the board has a low confidence in us. Not good. Um, and we need to... Okay, so I think we have... Yep, so the new ATR period. Did it actually open up? I don't think it did yet. Um, yep, not yet. We literally have to go one more day. So let's go ahead and skip ahead really fast. But we do have to get the pit crew... Reset. So our attributes here. Pit stop time.
All right, so if we just straight up rest <laughs> for this whole session or this whole next training schedule, um, we don't really lose out on too much. So let's come back here on Monday. Let's do gym training, I believe. Let's do another gym training. And another gym training. I'm trying to get our pit stop time down. And gym training is the way to do it. So I'll just keep doing that for a moment here. So it's looking pretty solid. Getting a little closer. Bumps up our chance of mistake. I wonder why that happens. Let's change some of these days around here. Let's see if we can improve. Kind of get these back to zero here. A little bit closer. So I need to get the used tire off a bit better. Um, let's do another day here, maybe. Car building, maybe. No, I think a pit stop drill. Change this over. And we're getting a little bit better here, but since we I think we're pushing them <clears throat> obviously a bit, so if I can get this fatigue back down to a little bit lower, so maybe let's take away this day here. There we go. So that's a little bit better, but we're still obviously slacking there. Do we just need to do a street? Pit drop drill session. Um, let's do use tire off, use tire off. Okay, let's change this to use tire off, use tire off. Hmm. And then what about a gym day here? Gym day and pit stop drill. Yeah, no, so that's too much there. So we need to either do a gym day or a pit stop drill. Probably a pit stop drill because that's going to get us back to zero. And if we do another one, that's just too much, unfortunately. Alrighty, I believe that should do it, honestly. Yeah, let's see. Do a car building day here, car building day here. Probably another one here, maybe. Trying to get the car building back to almost zero. Let's do one more here. There we go. Uh, what about changing some of these to gym days? Nope, pit stop drills. What about adding another pit stop drill day here? Too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. Alright, I believe that's gonna do it. That should be okay here. Let's just go ahead and confirm that. 
Come back out. Uh, sorry, that took a little second there. And let's go ahead and skip ahead a day. Nice. Aaron Melvin jumping up. Nice work, brother. ATR starts today. Yes, we know the engines are not in good shape. Now, let's take a moment and think about these next few moves because I think they're going to be very important. Obviously, we have a new ATR period, but we have some coins to finally upgrade our facility. I think we want to upgrade our design center. And then whatever money we have left over, we need to keep saving it and get a new engine. Although the design center is 11 and a half, so that's not going to leave us enough for the engine. CFD simulator. Obviously, this is going to help us out, but I don't think as much as the design center will. So this refurbishes back to 2, 4, and 2, and then it gets 3, 6, and 3. Hmm. Car park test center. Yeah, see, even that's more expensive. 6, 3, 3, 6, and then up to 8, 4, 4, 8. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, I think the design center is going to be the way to go. Yeah, we've been talking about it. Let's go ahead and do it, I think. So it's going to take 84 days. So that's going to help us out towards the end. So I'll go ahead and confirm that. Boom. Now let's look at... We have about 4 million left. We're going to need some parts for the cars for the rest of the season. So I think we need to do that and then try to power through. And get some money from some race weekends to do our designs after that. So let's see, we have one extra suspension, we have two extra underfloors, a few extra side pods, no extra rear wing, a few. All right, so let's go ahead and get some parts manufactured here. Let's see, we only have two extra chassis, or I'm sorry, we have zero extra chassis. Um, and these are expensive, unfortunately. Uh, 17 and 30 days. Let's actually hold off on this. Let's see. Front wing, we have plenty. Rear wings are relatively cheap. So let's make four so that way we have two extra. Be nice. 19 days is our last one. Okay, that should be okay. Let's confirm that. So let's make four rear wings. Side pods, we have plenty. Underfloor, we have two extra and we have one extra so we do need to make some chassis parts I suppose let's go ahead and do that three four four sixty days till the end let's actually do two and if we need to make one in an emergency I suppose we will just have to do that so it doesn't leave us much money left 1.8 so let's hold off on the parts let's check out Theo I know he's gonna need obviously new engine He's going to need a new ERS and a new gearbox soon. Um, I suppose let's purchase a gearbox because those are only a milli. Uh, yeah, yeah. So let's go ahead and get that. So that way we have that in the bag. And that's going to do it for right now. So let's go ahead and skip ahead. Ooh, quite a few big decisions to make with some of our money. But we finally got that facility upgrade started. Let's go ahead and check our inbox here. Race preview, obviously we know. Staff, uh-oh, what's going on here? Contract expiring. That's all right. We're going to renew their contracts um, for one year. And then we're going to try to renew everybody um, after that because they'll be all linked up on the same contract schedule. So let's just ignore that for now. Let's go ahead and choose our performance targets. Not looking good. Let's try to get one at least 15th for five races in a row. Obviously, doubt we're going to get the fastest lap. Try to get one of our guys to finish at least 15th, potentially. They want us to reach Q2, both of us. Doubtful. Um, let's get one of our guys at least 15th. Also, everyone's just been making moves. We've been focusing on the research. So I think we need to keep doing that. Just take the heat from the board. 
and do what we can with the research. That way, when we come into next season, we can just come in strong. Come in hot. Singapore, Marina Bay Street Circuit. Pretty cool track. Uh, super narrow, obviously, being a street circuit. Definitely in a wonderful location. Beautiful surrounding area. Going to be a night race. Going to be mixed temperature conditions, though, for practice and quality sessions. But the race itself will be at nighttime. So we'll see how we do. We get to, definitely got to start making some improvements, but, you know, it's tricky. We're just trying to keep the car in one piece. Trying to keep parts on the car if we can. Have not been making any development upgrades for this season, but we have been researching the crap out of the car for next season. Looks like we're going to have some rain during our third practice and quality sessions, and the race itself is looking cloudy. Go ahead and power through these sessions off camera, and I'll bring it back when we jump into qualifying. I'm going to try to actually do at least Q1 and see how that goes, because I don't think I've ever participated in a qualifying session myself, except for the very beginning, when we first started our journey. But, go ahead and knock out these practice sessions, and I'll bring you back for quality. Welcome back. Got practice all finalized. Went pretty well. Got the both boys pretty close to 100%. Got them pretty close. I'll take it. I think we got Theo up to 99%. Richard, I think we got up to 98% if I recall. Got them both pretty close to 100% on the track. I think I got them to 99 I think, each. We'll find out here momentarily again. I need to switch over the units we were using for practice to some better ones. So 96. I'm not quite, actually. We can make some adjustments. Let's see. Point 0.8, I believe. You know what? Sure. Can I move? Let's move this over one, potentially. Pretty close. Let's try that out, actually, with Richard. And Theo is pretty solid. One more this way, or this way. It's either way, huh? Let's just max it out that way and see what happens. Let's go ahead and switch over to the better units. We don't have we don't have that many good units remaining, unfortunately. I'm not going to use the brand new gearbox yet for Theo. We're going to wait until we can get some better units all the way around. And we are just skimping by here with some very used units. All right, let's go ahead and start quali. How many compounds we have? We have four fresh softs. So let's actually manage quali. Let's go ahead and see. It's been a while since I've done it. Don't I want to go yet. We have 18 minutes. So let's go ahead and speed this up, actually. That should be the green light. And everyone's going to go ahead and get a flying lap started. Send our boys out. Looks like wet weather coming. Five minutes time. So we are now on our flying lap. I'm gonna let, you know, it says take manual control, but I think I'm gonna let whatever happened, happen. So let's jump on board with Theo actually. Oh, Theo's on an in lap. Richard's on his flyer. I think he's about to come across and finish it. We're P18 now. Not too terrible from Richard, I suppose. We have not been performing well recently. 
but you know we can only do what we can do we're trying to focus our efforts into the facilities as well as upgrading the car And we can see there that we got Theo up to 100% and Richard to 99, so close. So we have rain on the track now. Is it going to go to full wet or are we going to be enters? Let's see what everyone is on. Everyone's on an enter. So I think if we get out there now. Let's see. So the rain is increasing. I think it's going to settle down here momentarily. And why is it not giving us the ability to send the car out? It says reconfigure. Run plan. Yeah, this is what I want. One flying lap. Total three. Yeah, yeah. Include the cooldown lap. Okay. I don't know what's changing there. But it will not let me out on track for some reason. Oh, there we go. Okay, very interesting. So I had to select and then reselect that. It's like the water is going up. All right, let's try to... I suppose let's send out the boys and let's see what we can do on the enter. Because the rain's going up, but it should settle down here momentarily. Getting really close to full wet conditions. Hopefully we can finish this lap up. All right, there we go. Now it's dropping back down. Woo, that was a little close there. Oh, yikers. No improvement. Obviously, we got a dry running out before, and I think that's going to be our only... That's going to be our only hope, unfortunately. I think this is going to be where we qualify for the race. Yes. No bueno. No bueno. Oh, that is all right. That's, uh... I believe that's all we could have done, honestly. Couldn't have done much better than that, unfortunately. 
That's gonna be it. Qualifying over P18, P20. We got a, a lot of room to make up in the race if we're gonna jump any places. Ay, ay, ay. No bueno. Max having a grid penalty. Oscar and K-Mag taking a grid penalty as well. So that might give us a slight opportunity to start in a slightly better position, but not much. And with those cars being much faster than we are, we're just going to be sitting ducks out there. So it's going to be damage limitation this time around, unfortunately, in Singapore. But let's see. Let's see what we can do. Ooh, the Red Bull team leading the championship in our series here. Leading the championship in real life, but Checo needs to get his stuff figured out. He has not been doing well ever since he re-signed with the Red Bull. He has just been in the gutter, unfortunately. So we don't have... Yeah, we can't really do anything here, unfortunately. Got quite a few tires to play with. Uh, let's see. Two stopper shows. Going to be the fastest. Soft, medium, soft. I suppose let's do that. Let's just click, you know, let's just go with that strategy straight up. And then we can make adjustments to it as needed. Add a little bit of extra fuel. Get the pace mode turned up. I don't think that's really going to help us, unfortunately, but we will try. We'll see what happens. Got the Aston Martin out there leading us. It's like Lando. Doing pretty solid. Taking the fight to max. Quite literally. Good to see some high-level drivers doing some high-level racing. All right, here we go. Richard starting out in front. Let's go ahead and jump on board. Let's actually switch the tactic to high overtake aggression. So hopefully we can make up a few places right off the bat here. Let's give it a go. We got Danny Ricardo right next to us. Right in front of us. Definitely a good opportunity to make up some places early on if we can be aggressive here. So we're going to stick it past Danny Rick. Let's see if we can keep that momentum going. We got Theo right behind Danny Rick. Uh, Joe and Valtteri going at it. Former teammates. Now on two separate teams. Alright. Hang in there, Theo. Keep Danny Rick behind. As long as we possibly can. And Theo gets okay, past okay. a K-Mag, unfortunately. Yeah, Theo is not doing too hot. Let's go ahead and bring him back down. Richard up one, Theo down one. And that's gonna be a lap here soon. There it is. All right, we're gonna have DRS open up momentarily. Bring this back down. Slow down now. Okay. See if we can Slow hang on to Valtteri here. Bring the battery back down. Mm -hmm. 
I'm doing pretty okay. Tires back down. Okay, back off. Coming. Yikers. Oscar getting around us, but that was inevitable, unfortunately. Well, Richard's hanging DRS in there. Is DRS enabled. is now enabled, so we're going to get that DRS boost. So Valtteri is getting pushed a little further back from Joe. We're right with Valtteri still. We're going to get some DRS here. Definitely going to help us because Valtteri is starting to squeeze away from us, unfortunately. Richard doing pretty okay to hang, hang in there with Valtteri. Hey, yeah, yeah. All right, let's just go ahead and speed things up a bit here, because yeah, Richard's already starting to drop back from Valtteri, unfortunately. Danny Rick's probably gonna come around us. Unfortunately, if Richard can't hang on to this place, we're not gonna end. We're not gonna end well. So Danny Rick gets around us there and he is taken off. K Mag has gotten around us. So the pace just not in the car. I mean, we can maybe look at doing a new car part for this season. We'll have to see. It's just tough to because that's going to cost us money. We need money for a new engine for each of our drivers. We need money for parts still, unfortunately, because it has been a very expensive season. Very, very expensive season. Well, we'll do what we can. We're just trying to hang in there and do our best. Which, unfortunately, Isn't that great right now? Uh oh, VSC, VSC. What happened here? Full safety car. Looks like Georgie Boy and Alex Albon, both drivers out. So that's going to be two free places for us, thankfully. Ooh, Alex trying to send one up the inside. And did not work out. Yikes. It's going to be devastating results for both teams, but slightly better results for us. And we have a full safety car. I think we should go ahead and pit. Um, maybe too hard? Let's see, let me pause it here for a moment. Let's go strategy view, edit strategy. Let's edit this one to a hard right now. And then a soft at the end. Medium a little sooner. Try that with Theo. And let's do probably the same, I suppose, here with Richard. All right, there we go. So let's jump back in. Let's 
Safety car is starting. But our guys are right next to each other, which is insanely unfortunate. Copy that. Box this lap. Just conserve, Copy conserve. Yeah, just we're just too slower. close to each other, unfortunately, to really... make a difference. I mean, I guess we're gonna, it's probably better to double stack him. Potentially. Box now, box now. Let's see. Box. So yeah, everyone's coming into the pits. I wonder if they're gonna go hard or if they're gonna go to the medium early. Yeah, it looks like Georgie boy picking up a penalty. So yeah, looks like we're gonna get some hard tire action right now. And everybody's double stacking, so you know, we might as well do it. Yeah, I might as well join the party. Hard tires, everyone on some hard tires. Hey, fam. So we got Theo in front, actually. Up team three and a half, not that great. Yeah, three point four, not that great either. But it's all right because we're gonna all catch back up with the safety car and be good to go. We bring all of this back down here for Richard. Let's speed this up a little bit. Try to conserve everything the best we can for now. Probably get one more lap and then maybe safety car will come in. Let's see. Oh, one more safety car lap it looks like. All right, safety car ending. Safety, safety car, car is ending. This lap. Push, 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 push. All right, here we go. Let's speed this back up. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's get back to racing here. All right, let's set this let's settle in here. DRS. And we're already pretty much out of DRS range, unfortunately. Richard is still on a high overtake. Let's bring that back down. So Lance putting in the fastest lap. And everyone's on the hard except for Yuki. Very we're interesting. Out of DRS. Oh, we are out of the battery. Let's copy, copy. losing track of the battery there. Whoopsie daisy. Let's bring the tires back down to standard. Keep pushing on the fuel. Harvest the battery back up. And Theo's hanging in there with Valtteri. Richard is falling behind. Oh, and we get another VSC. Pick up the pace. What happened this time? VSC, VSC. You need to be just plus on your delta time. Copy. Piastri crashing. Is he going to crash out completely? Looks like Piastri's getting into it with the other Williams of Joe Guan Yu, and ooh, just can't hang in there. Just gets the, the tail end of the car out from underneath of him and slaps it into the wall. Ooh, that's gonna give us another free position. Car in the wall at turn seven. Possible debris. Possible debris indeed. We're gonna hang in here. Speed this back up.
Fill the battery back up. VSC ending. VSC ending. Virtual safety car ending. Go ahead and attack here. Okay to push. Go back to neutral. And speed this back up. Green flag, green flag. Got DRS re enabled. We know we have some component wear. But we got some free places so far. So that's uh, the only thing keeping us alive. And are we gonna. Oh no, Richard! Terminal front wing. Richard. What happened, my friend? Oh, lock up a little bit. Oh, just. Jeez, Louise, brother. Just bounced off the wall. Okay. So, can we. Oh, we can't bring the car back in. Great. Oh, Richard. VSC, VSC. And VSC starting again. So, get just positive on the delta time. Back us we'll back down out, here. Stay out, get just positive on the delta time. Ay, ay, ay. Well, that's four cars out in the Singapore Grand Prix. Ah, yeah, yeah, Richard, my friend. We were doing okay. We weren't doing terrible. You know, we were getting some free places, and now we're not. What can Theo do for us? Can Theo... Can we crack P15? Or is that out of the question? Can we catch Valtteri? Or is that just, you know, shooting for the stars? I mean, we've got DRS on Val3. We gotta, we gotta out strategize him here. Maybe we do need to get around Val3. Is he holding us up? He's not holding us up much, if any. We just got around him. Well, we're gonna play tug of war here with Valtteri. I think we boost the battery. Should be able to get him. Let's go ahead and deploy here. Oh, nope. Let's wait, let's wait. We need to wait for another moment where he gets around him coming back onto the new lap there. But Valtteri knows. He knows we're on him now. We're on the hunt. Ooh, what a season it's been so far, everyone. Thanks for hanging in there with me. It has been a, t a very tough season. A little tougher than last season. Really hard to tell, honestly. I think it has been tougher. We've just been spending enormous amounts of money in replacement car parts. I think the car parts themselves aren't too terrible, just the amount of engines and powertrain units that we're having to purchase is just not good. So we're getting really close. Let's go ahead and start pushing aggressive here. Valtteri's starting to push on a charge. See if we can hang in there with him. I think Valtteri's going to come into pit momentarily. And we need to try to overcut him if we can. And here we go. We're going to pick up the place there. Let's go ahead and boost the battery. See if we can get away from Valtteri. Put some distance on him before we make our pit stop. Alright, let's go one more. Let's go back down here. 
And Valtteri just came into pit. Let's go ahead and bring Theo in. Or do we want to go soft? Let's see, we have 20 laps remaining. The medium's going to get us 39. Fresh soft's going to get us 30. Um, I believe the medium's going to be the better tire to be on. Since we'll have more life in it towards the end. But the soft is going to be much faster per lap. By about four tenths. Hmm. Let's stick with the medium, I think. Let's go ahead and jump on board with Theo here. Go ahead and push attack. Let's top up on the battery. Okay to push, okay to push. Actually, let's deploy the battery here. Okay, boat push. So we can try to overcut Val 3 as best as possible. Then boost the battery here. And let's go back to neutral actually. And Val 3 is way back here, so hopefully we'll be able to have a good pit stop, clean pit stop. He is catching us though. Looks like he's barely catching us. Here we come. Pit in, yep, pit in. Yuki's gonna easily get past us. I believe we are gonna get out in front of Valtteri though. Come on, come on. This feels like forever getting down to our pit stall. Come on, Valtteri's coming, he's coming. Hurry up. Let's go. Nice work. 3.5, I mean a consistent three and a half seconds. We definitely need to work on decreasing that pit stop time substantially. We have L3 right behind us. Nice, let's get out in front, get out in front. Excellent work, my friend. Excellent work, brother. Good job, team. Keep us out in front. Overcut achieved. Turn the tires into an aggressive state here. Just hold back a little bit. Valtteri's got the warmer tires. He doesn't have DRS though, so we're doing okay there. We gotta get the tires up into temperature quickly. Let's actually push a little on tack here. You're okay to push now. Copy. Yeah, Valtteri's getting close behind us. We gotta keep him out of DRS range. Keep him out of DRS range. All right, we got the tires into temperature range. Yeah, just go a bit slower. Copy. Still out of DRS range, thankfully. to start topping the battery up though unfortunately okay charge on charge on let's go ahead and let's see what Valtteri's tires are at 92 let's get our tires a little bit warmer go to standard here we're gonna need to save the battery get it topped up the best we can it's all right if he passes up, because if we can get into his DRS range, we'll be okay for the attack later on. Because he'll be on slightly less tire life than we will be. But we're keeping him at bay for right now. Just gonna get around us there, it looks like. It's alright, if we can stay in DRS range, we should be good. Let's 
Just gonna keep topping the battery up slowly. But we can't get out of his DRS range. We have 15 laps to go. And we're doing okay. We're sticking with them. Giving them a little fight, actually, while trying to top the battery up. So we're going to be in really good position here. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave them topping up the battery. I think in another lap or two, we should be good to put them back to neutral. We need to keep an eye on it because if he starts to push, we need to follow through. It's actually a harvest here. Nice. So now we are fully charged. Let's go back to neutral. Speed this back up. Yeah, it's gonna allow us to start fighting here. Ricardo's about eight seconds ahead. I don't think we're gonna catch him, unfortunately. We got around Valtteri there. Start pushing a little bit more aggressive on the tires. Try to build a gap. We got Lando in front of us by about four seconds, but I believe he just came in for some fresh sauce, so he's gonna take away real quickly. And we're getting down to the last few laps. Looks like Red Bull 1, 2, Aston Martin 3, 4. Look at that, all pairs right here. Top three teams finishing one after the other. Starting to lose a little bit of fuel. Let's save it here. Start pushing a gre more aggressive on the tire. We've got plenty of life left in it. We got three to go. Three to go. Go ahead and jump on board with Theo here. Got Valtteri right behind us. Let's see. The Red Bulls are behind us, so they're going to start the last lap momentarily. And when that happens... I believe will be, let's see. We're gonna start the last lap soon. So I think we'll have one more actually. To fight it out. We're catching Joe slowly. Two laps to go, two laps. Go ahead and push the attack here. Okay, we're okay to push. Okay to push. So Max just started the final lap. We're gonna have one more, I believe. I think we're gonna be too far away from the cars in front. Because we're not running 10 seconds faster per lap than they are, so. This is gonna be it, I believe, folks. Let's go ahead and deploy, actually. Let's see how close to Joe we can get. Mode push. Mode push. Push, push. P15 for Theo. Not terrible, all things considered. Richard, 
I'm highly disappointed, but I guess we walk away with a P17 from that one because three drivers crashed out before we did. <sighs> Not good, but I guess better than 20th. So we're starting to gap Valtteri, but we're not closing the gap too much on Joe. So this is going to be our last lap here. We're about 8.4 seconds away from Joe. Oh, sorry, actually, Sonoda is in front of us. Joe and Sonoda are going at it. Sonoda's on the hards, Joe on the softs. Yeah, they are just too far away for us to catch them, unfortunately. But we're going to push ourselves the best we can. And Deo making some moves with not so good car components. Richard had better ERS and better gearbox for sure. So Theo holding his own with the lesser quality units. And we just pulled about five second gap on Valtteri when we we're pushing and we got the battery on full juice. That's all of our deployment there. And that's gonna be it for us. We got about six seconds away, so we went from about 10 seconds to six seconds. We gained four okay, seconds flag, on those final flag. few laps. I wonder if we would've started pushing a bit earlier, if we would've gotten closer. Who's to say? Ooh, tricky race, tricky race. Pretty decent from Theo. Not so decent from Richard, unfortunately. Singapore was not his friend. Looks like <laughs> Maxi Boy jumping up 10 slots there. Theo jumping up three. Nice work, my friend, nice work. Of course, we got Max leading the championship pretty heavily. Red Bull also pretty heavily in the lead in the Constructor Championship. Well, that's going to do it, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.